Okay, so I'm back. All right, so what did I say? Um, yes. First, make a script. C sharp. Make it in a C sharp. Call it something like enemy health, so you know that it's for the enemy. And then um, you won't need the update or the start function. If you do have it, uh, just delete it. Don't you don't need it uh, in this uh, case. For this tutorial, um, um, my first line of code is public. Well, you don't have, you don't need the public, but I use it since uh, I like to adjust the uh, health of the enemy, and you can use it as well. Um, and you don't need the max health. Well, let me. Uh, how do I increase this? zoom in All right, I hope this is going to be we got enough Let's see if I zoom in some more okay so you don't need max health you just need some kind of health for the enemy this is just me uh, <coughs> making it Pretty much learning how to deal with the max health and the current health and you don't need the public but if you like to uh, watch the uh, enemy's health uh, go down uh, you'll have to uh, make it as public so public float or int current health or enemy health in my case it's current uh, curve slash e health equals 100 if you're using float, you'll have to have f at the end of the uh, decimal number. But if you're using int, uh, you don't need the float. Your uh, number will, sh will end up looking like, like this. So since I'm using float, mine has to have the f at the end. Next is so first is the health enemies health or current health if you want to copy mine so you, you can uh, easy easily uh, follow the script the next thing is to do to make a function in this case you'll have to mo make a function public function and oh something like this like public void take damage which is uh, saying that uh, enemy will take the damage from the player and then if you use an int since uh, I asked you to uh, follow what I'm doing so you can e follow e this uh, tutorial easier just go uh, type in whatever I have in the line uh, float and then amount amount represents the uh, pretty much ends up representing the health uh, ignore this this is not part of the tutorial okay so the next line will be under the function you'll need parentheses I mean brackets and in between the brackets this is the bracket right here and between the brackets you'll need current health or current e health uh, this current e health means that it's a current enemy health uh, this is how I uh, know that it's an enemy health for the player health it's just current health or something like that so <coughs> Under the take damage function, you have uh, you'll need current e health minus equal the amount. Pretty much the amount of the damage that you will call later. Uh, that I will show you later and um, <coughs> where this. Uh, what function will access this amount okay so that's it for that function 
I, you don't need all this. <clears throat> this is for me. <clears throat> so what you do is go back to the Unity, and if you don't have a enemy, just make one sphere or <clears throat> capsule or <clears throat> cube or whatever. Click on it, and wherever you have your uh, script saved just grab the click on the enemy and grab the enemy's uh, enemy health script and just drag it onto the uh, either the enemy uh, onto itself or onto the uh, inspector uh, works the same all right so that's the enemy now how to access the enemy's health how to uh, damage or uh, when a player damage uh, deals damage how to decrease the, the enemy's health well on the player remember we created this uh, we made this uh, sphere that is is trigger um, for that we need to make an uh, script another script so make another script put it somewhere else like on the player file or whatever so you know where it is and call it a uh, close attack because you're well you can call it whatever you want you can call it a, a multiple attack enemy attack or something like that in my case I call it close, close attack because when enemy um, comes close to the player um, player will have ability to take damage onto multiple uh, enemies so I already have made the script C -shop in C sharp call called close attack <coughs> all right <coughs> now for the see this is weird I have uh, enemy health under float and damage under just the uh, end and it still works which is kind of weird shouldn't or maybe it can um, I don't know all right so close attack script make uh, your first thing will be to determine what um, what kind of damage will player do so you can use it as int or float let's not confuse you in this tutorial let's uh, let me fix this okay float damage enemies all right so I you I use the int and I'm sorry about that I was I guess I was testing something and I guess it worked so float and float will be damage enemies equals 10 0 f since it's float start and update you know need delete it now why am i making this video because i am excited believe it or not uh, that i have you know came up across this and figured out how to make it work so that's why uh, anytime I, uh, I anytime it takes me uh, four days to figure something out I uh, get excited once I figure out I get excited and I want to you know share it with the world what I have you know how I fixed my uh, whatever I, I had issues with again I have a few more seconds before this uh, recording shuts off so I'm gonna pause again and I'm gonna continue <coughs> again <coughs> 